What is going on everybody? This is Dylan with Dylan Talks Tone. Today, Catalyst 100. Before we get started, I just want you to know uh, this is not a sponsored video. I actually paid for this with my own money, ordered it from Sweetwater. I'll leave a link to it in the description if you want one or if you want to try one, uh, please do that. It does help out the channel a little bit. There's a 60 watt version, a 100 watt version and a 200 watt version of this amp. The smallest one, it's a little bit smaller than this, 60 watts. This one is a single 12 and then the um, 100 watt version, the 200 watt version is 212. They are priced pretty competitively at $299, $399, and $499, respectively. I know that you are expecting some sort of comparison with other popular amps in this price range and I will do that video for you but before we do that I want to run through this amp talk about some of the features and I know there's a lot of reviews out there that are gonna like tell you what each button does and everything and we're gonna do that a little bit but what I'm really concerned with here is how to actually use this what is the use case for this amp and how you can get the most out of the 100 watt amp is for $400 or the 60 for, for 299, how you can get the most out of it. Cause I think that's really important. I think there are some misconceptions about what this amp is or what it's compared to. And honestly, it kind of stands on its own and it belongs in a completely different department, in my opinion, than you might think. <laughs> just throw this in the arena with other amps in the price range like the Boss Katana. I think this thing kind of lives in its own world. It's a, it's different. It's not the same thing where a Boss Katana is an FET transistor based uh, amplifier with some DSP effects in it. It's basically mm, a solid state amp that's really good at what it does. This thing is completely different. This is actually a modeling amp. It's based on the technology that Line 6 has put in their other modelers. You've probably heard this in other videos, uh, like the Helix, the HX Stomp, and that sort of thing. That's not to say that that's just that technology stuffed in a box and handed to you. This is a kind of a, it's a whole new thing. The other thing it's not is it's not a Line 6 Spider. It's a completely different thing and they've been very careful to make sure that the look and the feel and everything is not Line 6 Spider at all. And I will tell you, uh, as you've already heard, it doesn't sound like a Line 6 Spider either. <laughs> this amp it wasn't just take a bunch of the helix patches and stick them into an amp they actually developed six new amp profiles for this amp they are as i'm reading them right here clean boutique chime crunch dynamic and high gain it's pretty cool it's very easy there's just a knob right here that you can select each one as you go through and the other cool part about this thing is that it is a two channel amp you can select one channel or two channel, like channel A, channel B, channel one, channel two, however you want to say it. 
uh, and you can have two different profiles. This is where we're gonna get into stuff that I really like in just a little bit. It is foot switchable on the back with an optional foot switch. However, I actually have a regular tip ring sleeve foot switch from one of my other amps. I just plugged it in with two buttons and it works. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. One button channel switches and the other button turns one of the effects off that we'll get to in just a minute. <laughs> the six models of amps and then on the other end of the controls we've got two effects that we can adjust on the top control plate we've got an effect which can be changed in the app and on the controls so delays phasers tremolos filters all that sort of stuff that can be used on the app uh, that you plug into the computer we'll get into that in a minute as well the other knob is going to be for your reverb which I think there's six different kinds of reverb that can be changed around for this amp as well. Now I know you're probably thinking, yes, it just sounds like the next modeling amp to me and it's just too much messing around. Well, here's what I'm gonna tell you. What I love about this amp and where to me this thing really shines is the fact that you can get super nerdy. Uh, you can go into the app and you can do all kinds of stuff uh, on the computer. Um, we'll get to that in a minute. I'll take you through a tour of that in just a second. But on the other extreme of it, on the just walk up to the amp and play extreme, basically all we have to do is we just turn on the amp, we select a profile that we want and we set the amp controls like we normally would set them. What's very cool is they act very, very, very much like a real amp. So if we look at the controls here, we have a gain, we have a bass, a middle, a treble, a presence, and then a volume, so a master volume. So you have, you know, your gain is more like your preamp side and your master volume is like your power amp side. They act like they should when you crank that power amp and then turn the gain way down low and it gives you that nice big clean chimey kind of sound and then on top of that we have a boost knob so this boost is switchable on and off what's really cool about the boost that you may not realize is that it is tailored to each one of the amp profiles so it's not just taking one boost pedal or one boosted signal it's not just boosting it up a certain amount of db in front of all the amps no it is actually, some of them affect the tone a little more. The point is that this boost is actually matched to each one of the profiles to complement it properly. All the way over on the right hand side, we've got the master volume, which doesn't have anything to do with the tone. It just turns the master volume up and down. Now let me tell you, when you play this thing through this single 12 that is in this cabinet, it is unbelievably loud. It's so good, it sounds great. Now in my environment, a lot of times and everything that you've been hearing so far, you are hearing it actually USB out to the computer. I find that that gives me the nicest DI sound. So uh, before we get into anything else with this thing and the whys and the hows and why I think you should buy this amp and what you should use it for or what I'm gonna use it for, let me show you the computer and how you can change around and what you can do with the computer when you're recording direct out and what you can do with the controls in the computer to affect what you do here. Okay, so diving into the editor a little bit, we won't get into every little detail, but I'll just run you through some of the cool things about this thing. If you want me to do a specific video, we can go through and actually try all these buttons and I can show you what they all do. But the bottom line is you come in here and you'll see the main indicator so you can pick you know what amp you're actually actually do that up here what amp you're actually working on and as you'll see here when you switch to different amps the controls change so their baseline settings are different meaning uh, that on clean your gain and your master volume uh, here 
and your sag and everything. We'll get into that in a minute. Oh, here it is. Your gain and your master volume here and here for clean is in one place. And then you come over here to, we'll just use the high gain setting or one of the higher gain settings. See how the gain now is cranked all the way up and the master volume is down more. That makes sense as to how you would set an amp. But after the this, we'll talk about why it's important to understand how this works with a modeling amp. So anyway, um, gain, all your EQ, your presence, your volume. Now those are normal controls on top of the amp. That makes sense. This is the boost that you can turn on and off. Now this is something you don't have on top of the amp, a noise gate that you can adjust in here and then it will act globally on the amp if you export this to the amp. Also, sag, uh, hum, on and off to make it sound or feel more realistic. And then you can change your bias to uh, your quote unquote tube bias, if that makes sense. And then over here, because a model is a mic'd amplifier, especially when we're talking about the direct outside, here is your cabinet choice. So we can go single 12, 212, or 412, and then this is what our direct out will be hearing to the computer or to whatever interface we're using. You can also change your mic. So you can go for like a Royer R, uh, for like a 421, uh, 57, all these various ones. You can go to different stuff. We'll just leave it on 57 for now. Uh, and then we get into the effects side. This is pretty interesting too because um, now the mix knob is you see on top. You can understand, you can put it post or pre, which is really crazy. Um, now you see it's uh, different for the reverb versus the effect. Now, the, the other thing that you can do here is you can click on this and we can come up here and choose whatever that effect knob has on top of the amp, whatever we want. So we've got delays, modulations, so like a phaser or whatever, and a bunch of filtering stuff too. So we'll just leave it on a normal delay because that's what we care about for now. And then the reverb, same thing. You can go through here and select whatever you want. So uh, we can do whatever we want here. Obviously these knobs are on top of the amp, but over here, um, you can get deeper into each of the effects. So this is your delay. And so you'll be able to adjust all the things that you could normally affect on a delay on the floor. Same thing with the reverb and probably actually more than just a normal reverb. So this thing lets you dive in quite a bit and then you can actually set channel two to whatever else you want. So, and this is the interesting part too, is you could be on the same boutique over here and have two different channels doing two completely different things with two completely different effect sets to completely different everything. Channel one, channel two. It's pretty cool. And then there's some other stuff too that we could get into just real quick. Um, you can adjust your effects loop in here. You can use an expression pedal and tell it what to do with various effects, which is pretty cool. Um, and then some other things too, not really for this video, uh, but if you want me to dive more into this, we can. So let's talk about the various practical ways that you could use this amp in a bunch of ways that other amps on the market, I don't think are gonna have the same kind of feature set. So. If you're just a basic amp user, you have a tube amp, you have something that's too loud, you have whatever. Or if you've got a beginner kind of new guitar player, new guitar player, and you want to upgrade to an amp that sounds great, that is easy to use, that is not so feature packed that you're going to be confused every time you use it. This is your dude. You can actually just plug it into the wall, plug the guitar cable in, flip it on and go. You can just twist knobs until it sounds good and make a sound that you like and just play the guitar. That is, to me, the beauty of this thing because it's so simple to use. What if it's too loud? Well, there's a knob on the back back here that has power scaling. It goes from half watt to half power to full power. Because it's a modeler, 
it affects the tone a lot less than it would if it was a tube amp because um, while you're messing with how much you use the speaker, obviously, because you're not playing as loud and not as much air is moving, so I suppose it could affect the tone in that way, what's internally happening in the amp doesn't change. With a tube amp and you power scale it, it can really affect what's actually going on in the amplifier. So that's what I really like about this thing, is it sounds the same. Now, if you want to be completely silent, you just plug in some headphones, play straight out to some headphones. If you want to record, there's a few different ways you can do it. There's an XLR back here that you can plug straight into your interface. If I want to use a effects loop, I could use an effects loop back here. Cool part about the effects loop is, what if you have a Line 6 Helix? What if you have a Kemper? What if you have a Boss GT1000 and it doesn't have an amp in it and you, need, you want to play with an amp? You just plug that in here, you flip this little switch, and now you can use this as the power amp for your floor modeler that doesn't have an amplifier in it. Versatility. This thing, to me, is super, super cool. Here's how I'm going to use it. What I really like about it is the fact that it's got this channel 1, channel 2. So, channel A, channel B, actually. What I really like about that is, I used to have a Kemper. I used to have a Helix. But what I didn't like about those units in the digital realm is they had so much stuff. And like a Kemper was like $1,700 and it, I only used like a couple sounds because realistically we only use a couple of sounds. So what I like about this is I can go into the computer. I do get a little nerdy with it. I set channel one up for a particular sound, which is clean. And I set channel two up with another sound, which is more dirty. For me, those are my kind of two favorite sounds. Up to this point, this is no pedals. This is nothing, this is just the amp by itself. But you could, if you wanted to, put pedals in front of it. If you want me to do that, we could do another video where we just try a bunch of different pedals in front of it. Leave some comments in the description if that's something that you want to do. If you want me to dive further into the software stuff, we can do that as well, as I mentioned. Uh, and then of course, we're going to probably do a comparison video with this and probably the Katana because I think that's what people are gonna to wanna to see. But it's not gonna be your normal comparison video. We're gonna get a little nerdy with it because this is Dylan Talks Tone. We're gonna to talk about what the amps are doing, what the differences are, signal change, that sort of stuff, and I think it's gonna be kind of fun. Thanks for hanging out. Make sure you check out our other videos. We got videos on Mondays, on Tuesdays. Oh, we got a podcast on Tuesday. Link in the description. We've got uh, all kinds of other stuff too. Live streams, news every Wednesday, all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, make sure you get in the comments. If you've tried one of these things in a store or if you've gotten one already, let me know what you think of it. I'm very curious. And as we do these other videos about pedals in front of it and Boss Katana and that kind of stuff, please put your questions below because I will surf around and see if I can incorporate some of that stuff in our upcoming videos. Thanks for hanging out and we will see you in the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit the button and do all the stuff. And the links do help us out, so please go shop around.